We're also following breaking news where a jury convicts Steve Bannon of contempt of Congress. He defied a subpoena from the House committee investigating the attack on the U.S. Capitol. The longtime advisor to former President Trump faces a minimum sentence of 30 days and a maximum of one year in jail for both counts. The jury took less than three hours to reach a verdict on the two misdemeanor counts. An update now to the story we've been tracking for weeks. Fairfax County police are showing new body camera footage from a June incident at Springfield Town Center where one of his officers shot and killed a man. Max Marcilla covers Northern Virginia for us, joins us now live from the Fairfax County Public Safety Headquarters. And Max, the video shows how the situation was unfolding in real time. Chris, that's right. And really what this newly released body camera footage does is provide some context and really show us exactly what happened in the moments leading up to the police shooting and then killing 37-year-old Christian Parker. Now, we're going to show you uh, some of the video from the tense moments, again, leading up to the shots being fired. Take a look. Put your hands in the air! Show me your f***ing hands! I will shoot you! Show Again, those tense moments leading up to the shooting. Police say that they warned Parker dozens of times to drop his gun. An officer saw Parker wave his gun from side to side, swinging it with the barrel aimed at the officer. So that is what happened in the moments immediately preceding two of the three officers on scene firing a total of eight shots, six of them hitting Parker. Now, police were here at the Springfield Town Center because there was a warrant out for Parker's arrest. This came after he stole a gun from a family member and then fired a shot inside their house. Now, police did confirm that the gun that they found uh, Parker holding in the car on the scene was the same gun he stole from a family member. Now, Parker never did fire a shot with that gun, but police chief Kevin Davis today telling the media his officers acted appropriately and lawfully because there was imminent danger. I think it's objectively reasonable to consider that person a, a very dangerous, uh, very dangerous to not just the police officers, but to the shoppers and passerbyers and, and civilians. And in his comments today, Davis said that unlike other recent situations, the police couldn't really reposition themselves as a way to uh, de-escalate the situation because of how many people there were around. Keep in mind, what you just saw happened on a Thursday afternoon just after 4.30 uh, outside of a Target in the parking lot. So Chief Davis said there were families and kids walking to and from the parking lot. So that is why uh, police uh, acted the way they did. Uh, Parker, uh, excuse me, Chief Davis said as regards to uh, why this happened, where it did, police had intelligence that Parker would be in that uh, parking lot, and that's why uh, they responded then as far as why they didn't wait and maybe find somewhere else. They believed uh, Parker was a threat to his family, and they wanted to get him to custody as soon as they could. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Max Marcilla, D.C. News Now.